This season, try something new and rid from the usual fast food dining spots. And it started in um, 2009. I had a, my first restaurant. I had a, something similar. 2010, my family decided to open our own Mexican restaurant. Mexican food here in Manila is, is still growing. Not much competition. It's a family-oriented place. Sharing their food, that's why our food is all to share. We have an open kitchen. You could see and you could make your own. We play me Mexican music. Complete and authentic Mexican dishes, from appetizer to dessert and drinks. First of all, we use fresh ingredients. Usually it's our, our first step. We choose our meal. Second step is what filling you want to put in your meal. This one is our what you made, vegetarian quesadilla. This one is our tostada. Usually tostada is fried, but here we torch it. This one's our wet burrito, frito burrito. So after frying, we put sauce and melted cheese. This one is my own recipe. It's mango glazed habanero chicken. Like the spice we use there, we grow it on our backyard. This one's our flautas. This one is lengua. This one is our taquitos especial, barbacoa. Fillings, we have pork. We have chorizo, al pastor, and carnitas. For the sides, we have chips, nachos, sweet potato fries. We have uh, pico de gallo, those are diced tomatoes. We have uh, guacamole, chili con carne. Dessert, we have uh, corn fritters, chocolate chip nachos. It's chocolate nachos with the uh, syrup, mint nachos. Quesadilla fruta is like a quesadilla, but with cheese and peaches inside. Then we serve it with ice cream. High end and done your way, from meals, wraps, fillings to sides. We're actually regular customers and we came all the way from Cotabato City just to uh, have a bite of the food here. The burritos that is served are really large servings and the ingredients are fresh. What more can you ask for from Mexican food? This is Janina Chan reporting for RPN's Spotlight.